Hey everybody. I'm in the realm. This is such a dark, mysterious place. And I don't come here often, but lately I have. That's a chicken. I'll explain more about that as time goes on. So let's go through this cut. Now I do have a base of operation here in the realm. And this is it. I have been expanding it a little bit. Let's run around here and take a view from from a view, another angle. You can hear the the pigmen. There's one now. Now, I don't like the pigmen. Yeah, I know they're supposed to be a passive mob. But they're strange. Even their little pig children carry a sword. The zombie pigmen, which I think they're called something different these days, all they want to do is fight. They train their kids to fight. They always have a sword made of gold. And more importantly, they always have pockets full of gold. And that's why I've been expanding my base of operations here in the realm. You see, I want the pig man's gold. Me and the pig man have a kind of a bad history to begin with. You know, I've been attacked by them and I've been killed by them. But now that I've figured out a way to profit from them, that's what I'm going to do. So, I'm looking out the windows. These are battle windows. You see how narrow they are? I'm completely safe behind those windows. Here's just basic storage. Mm -hmm. At the end of this tunnel, it's just a, a door out, uh, leads out there into the realm.
Let's go up to the roof. Now most everything is built of cobblestone. And there's a few pigmen down there. I'm not sure what the pigmen do with their time. I never see them do much of anything. And maybe that's why they seem to be always itching for a fight. It's almost like if you look at one of them in a bad way, uh, you know, they and their buddies will be all over you. I mean, they're like the ultimate street gang. this square on the floor. I call this the dance floor. If I slay a pig man who's standing on that floor, I am going to collect his gold. His golden ingots, his golden nuggets, and his golden sword will be mine. If I don't slay him on that floor, he can walk through this gate made of glass and fall onto that cactus. And that cactus will dispatch him. And again, I will get his gold ingots, his gold nuggets, and his golden sword. And he will oink no more. So let's go down into the processing room. Yeah, it's down here in the processing room that I that I collect the gold. Yeah, that's the cactus mob grinder that I built. And there's a network of hoppers on the ceiling that I take drops from the dance floor and route them to this chest. You can see that I've killed an enderman down here on that dance floor. Man, 16 pieces of rotten flesh kind of gives you an idea. Now, there's hoppers going from underneath that uh, cactus uh, through the floor right through here. And they end up at this chest. And you can see that I've collected a lot of gold and a lot of flesh. Now, I uh, hear, I think they call it the ghast. 
and he sounds like he is close by. Let's go have a look. I'm still unclear as to whether, that whether or not I can actually kill the ghast. Oh, I shoot at him with, with bow and arrow now and again, but nothing ever seems to happen. And when he sees me, he spits fireballs at me. And they don't really seem to do any damage whatsoever t to, to the cobblestone. But back over here, oh, by the way, there's my ovens. But, uh, this chest full of gold. You can see all the gold nuggets. Now I'm going to collect those and I'm going to process those into gold ingots. And looks like there was some left in the hopper you see. You see it populating right before your very eyes. So at the crafting table, I just need to find the golden ingots. There they are. And from the gold nuggets, I can make all of those gold ingots. Isn't that something? I've got three nuggets left, which is not enough to make an ingot. So look at all that gold. Now, let me show you how I process the swords. Let me transfer a, a bunch of those into my inventory, take them over here to the ovens. I've got these blast furnaces. And I just melt, I just melt these down. And when I use four furnaces, that means I can just, I don't have to wait, I just keep circling around to each furnace. And by the time I get back to the other one, the sword is melted into a gold uh, nugget. Yeah, it's that simple. So let me get those three and those three. Three more here. A couple here. And once again over to the crafting table. Gold ingot. There we go. Process the nuggets into an ingot. And let's add that to the stash. Now, all the rotten flesh is useful. As yes, uh, I like to trade that to villagers. So I'm saving it. You can see how many pigmen I've uh, 
dispatched just by looking at all the all the rotten flesh that I possess. Now there was a cactus in there because the cactus continues to grow. And uh, if it tries to grow a block, it just kind of cuts itself off. And the drop falls, ends up in the chest. And I'm just going to go real quick and process all these swords real fast. I'm going to go ahead and then remove the coal from the furnaces. I'm I'm still I'm kind of new to the blast furnaces, so I'm not sure how long they will continue to burn. I don't want to waste the coal because coal makes steel, Homer. Yeah, so we were able to make a few more gold ingots. Now this chest has, uh, you know, those other pigs. Uh, they're not pigmen, but they're, there's actual pigs, uh, I guess. Some of them carry crossbows. And if I kill them, I can collect those. But yep, that's the processing room. Now this is a cactus, and uh, it's on a block of sand. The block of sand is in a hopper that is in a mine cart. That combination seems to work pretty well. I mean, like I mentioned, there's hoppers under the floor that lead over to that chest. So, that's how it works. Now, do you want to see it? Do you want to see it in action? Let's see if we can agitate the pigmen. Now, I used to shoot at them with a bow and arrow, but that really wasted a lot of arrows. And arrows are kind of hard to come by, so I started throwing eggs at them. And that explains why there's so many chickens down here in the nether. So recently, I've been using snowballs. Because all you have to do is, uh, yeah, so I've still got some eggs, but, and I don't know what to do about all those chickens. The chickens have actually helped me before. They've actually helped push the pigment into the cactus grinder. I wonder if I can hit that guy. Yep, we got him. And he's all ticked off and he wants to he wants to kill me. All because I hit him with a snowball. He wants to take my life because he got hit with a snowball. You see, that's what I'm talking about when it comes to these, these pigmen. 
I mean, their true nature is they just want to kill. So let's see if we can maybe lead this mob. If we can lead them to the grinder where they will oink no more. So there we go. Whoop. Uh oh. Uh oh. That was the first time that that ever happened. That's the first time a pigman has jumped the hole and got over to my side. But yes, As you can see, it's it's kind of gruesome. And the pig men, they'll just keep coming. And you can see them. It's important to keep in mind that they are not running to the rescue of their fellow pigmen. They're just running over here so that they can get in on the action of, of killing. Because that's what the pigmen do. That's what they are. That's all they think about. They even give swords to their little kids, their little piglets. And yes, I have had to dispatch many of the little baby pigmen. But as long as we continue to stand here, these pigmen will keep running over here to my to my, I don't know what I call this, uh, nether castle, I guess. And they'll keep dropping in to the grinder. They are actually getting pushed in by their fellow pigmen. And their fellow pigmen, they don't care about the pigman that's in front of them. They'll push him into the grinder with no regrets if it means that they'll get a chance to slice me with their golden sword. Now you can see those two guys are kind of wedged in. So I'll just take a snowball. Kind of. Yeah, kind of break that up. And here come a lot more pigmen. Yes, this mob grinder is better than anything I've built in the overworld when it comes to uh, grinders because as I mentioned, uh, these pigmen will just keep on running over here. I mean, I think I counted 40 or 50 of them in once in one session once. So every time a pig drops into the grinder, I hear the sound of money. Cha-ching, cha-ching. And 
not only am I getting all of their gold, I'm getting quite a lot of XP also. Can jump up here on the top of the glass block and uh, I can slay him from up here and as long as he drops onto the dance floor uh, cha-ching is all I can say It seems to have quieted down. Here's one of those other mobs, uh, some kind of pig, uh, wild boar. I'm not sure what he is. But they're very angry, mean killers themselves. So here he comes, wanting to get a piece of me. Thank you for the gold. So let's see how we how we fared. Let's see how well we've done. Well, over here's where it counts. So we collected three gold swords, a couple of iron. I mean, gold ingots you know, three dozen uh, or two dozen gold nuggets. And what is that? 20 rotten fleshes or is that 28? Yeah. Yeah, 20. Let's go ahead and uh, let's melt down the swords. You know, it's too bad. The, too bad the. Pigmen don't drop diamonds as well. I'm really trying to build up my wealth uh, before I strike out away from my castle in search of new opportunities in lands, lands never journeyed to. Okay, so I was able to make three more gold ingots. I've got seven gold nuggets left. We'll store that there for now. Yeah, so that's the processing room. I hope you like it. Uh, I'm pleased with it. Now I'm going to go ahead and gather these gold ingots. We're going to gather as much flesh, uh, rotten flesh, as we can carry. 
we're going to take it back to the oh back to the overworld back to my castle we'll just leave that stuff so let's jump into the portal Here we are, back in my castle. Uh, there's, I put one of those newfangled blast furnaces uh, down here as well. I'll convert a lot of these other ones later on. I've been working on this room, this storage room. I've Got my chest up on risers. There's my iron. So yeah, I'm flexing a little bit there. And let's add to the gold store here. You can see I have some blocks of gold. I think it takes nine stacks of 64 to make one block of gold and it looks like I have close to 200 blocks of gold so that's a lot of gold and now that I have this cactus grinder in the nether I'm gonna be adding a lot of gold quickly But diamonds are what I need also. So in the next video, we're going to be going back into, into the mine. We'll continue mining, working our way down to level 12, where it's my understanding that we have the best chance of finding diamonds. There's yours, yours truly. So let's run back up here. Looks like the sun is coming up. And that door way down there in the bottom, that's the mine that we'll go to in the next video. Let's check the perimeter of the castle. Man, not much going on. Let's run down here to the west side and before we do though let's let's put this lad out of his misery see ya wouldn't want to be ya It's pretty quiet here on my island at the moment. There's a few mobs still left from last night. Yep, feels like I've been on this island for a long time. I had a pretty good friend, uh, Kevin, my skeleton horse. Some of you know about him. 
He's gone, but luckily I have my dog. So that's about it for this video. So uh, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. And in the next video, we'll do some mining, looking for diamonds. Until then, so long.